Welcome back. This is part four to the series of how rate my chase is made and this part I've been waiting for ever since Rate My Chase ended. As you all know, like I said, I meant to do this series back in late 2019. Didn't happen, but we're going to talk about how the Borat gauge came in. And as you may be wondering why you're seeing a Steam show of Duncan Rampa V3 here, that is where we're going to go into today to see where it came from. Now, the Borat gauge is kind of like, you know, for all you guys who like fast food out there, the Borat gauge is kind of like chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are good, they taste good, but if you saw the video of how chicken nuggets are made, uh, you will either be very disgusted and never eat chicken nuggets again, or you won't care and you'll continue to do so. That'll depend on the reaction of what you get from here. Obviously, you know, I ain't squeamish, so I don't really, really care. But we're going to go right into Dongarampa V3 here. Last played September 2020, so I have not rehearsed this at all. So bear in mind, but we're going to go into very high detail of how we get the Borat gauge into Rate My Chase. Let's get into its... I think that's fine. All right. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna take a look here, obviously. Honestly, one of the best games I've played. You know, non-bias as well. But that's not why we're here. So we're gonna go in. I don't even know the last save game. I guess it was September 2020. I haven't played the story of this since 2018. So this will be interesting, really. Alright, so I think we're gonna go to chapter 3. I think. I think that's where I got it from. I should put the difficulty below, because I think I may have to get further into this to actually make sure this actually works. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the, gonna go to the skills here. Um, now, the Borat gauge in Rate My Chase, uh, in Danganronpa V3, it's actually called the Focus Gauge. In fact, in all the Danganronpa games, it's called the Focus Gauge. It's the uh, green thing here. I guess you can't see the cursor, right? I can't use the cursor here, but uh, in uh, Copying Burax Chronicles, right, as I had said, in their opening segments, uh, their gauge is only seven stars long, and I carried it through season four. It wasn't until the end of season four that I uh, expanded it to ten. So let me just uh, go through some of these and uh, see if it's relevant to what we're about to do here. Uh, I probably should skip through this, I'm probably not going to. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm not too sure that a lot of these really matter. They're, they're probably already in, because I had put them in for chase trials. You can see the save game from uh, March 22nd, 2018. That was, I think it was a week after chase trials got released. I think I already did this. That. What's this? I've <laughs> never seen this before. Interesting. I'll try some other time. Um. Yeah, I don't think any of this really matters. Nope. I just don't want the, uh, Focus gauge to lower, uh, slower. Okay, I, I, I don't want this. 
Anyway, uh, I think that's what we need here. So let's get into it. Obviously, it's it's kind of funny when we talk about this because this game is a uh, it's a visual novel with uh, uh, elements of investigation. Which has nothing to do with what the Borat Gage is used for. So I'm gonna fast forward this here with all of this, and we're gonna try to get to the first uh, non stop debate here. Alright, there you go, that came pretty quickly. Alright, so what we want here is to drain the gauge, and then we want it to refill before the end of this sequence ends now i'm not too sure if this will work because it's only as you can see here there are only 10 entries uh 10 uh sentences being said so we're gonna try it once this is done uh, fast forward, honestly. all right so we're gonna do it again now we want to drain the gauge fully down to zero and we want it to refill back up to ten before the end of the sequence now it's done it or it's going to do it the problem is and I think I'm muting a little bit but the problem is that we don't want any sound in the background you know, you hear all this music, you hear all the uh, dialogue here, but we don't want any sound in the background. The only thing we want is the sound of the gauge. So we're gonna do... Nope. Oh. I can't do anything. Alright. Alright, this is not what I expected. We have to do it. Now, I wonder if I remember this, how to play this. So, ritual did work? Okay, excellent. I... Excellent. That's what we wanted there. I don't think Angie's Anyway, so we, we get the gist of what's going on here. We want... We do not want the music, we do not want the dialogue. I'm surprised I remembered that. I haven't played this game in like three years. So, well, this part of the game in like three years. So, what we want to do is go in the options. We want to put the background music to zero. We want to make the voice volume zero. And the effects, I suppose, can be a bit higher. So, we're gonna fast forward this, and I guess I can cut this until we get to the next one. Okay, we're back. All right, so what we want to do again for the fourth time, we want to drain the gauge and we want it to refill. That's what we want. But we also, it's transparent, so we probably don't want to have someone's face in the background. All right, this is a perfect spot, I think. Well, it's not actually. All right, so it's empty, now it's refilling. There's someone's hair in the background now. So we want to refill the 10 stars, and then after that we will use Shadow Play to record it, because I'm using, uh, okay, well Shadow Play didn't do anything. We're using OBS to record, <laughs> so we need something else to uh, figure it out here, but I guess it's not working. Excellent. Live video, guys. Live video. That's basically the gist of it. Um, anyway, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop the video, and then I'm going to cut the part out that I want to show you in the Sony Vegas. All right, we're back. We're back. Let's just... Uh, so this is the first part of the video that I cut from uh, what we just recorded. I Shadow play does not work for whatever reason. Get an AMD graphics card, guys, honestly. But so let's, let's give you guys some uh, Sony Vegas practice, all right? So I'm not going to show you how to use OBS, 
Uh, but basically, I have three audio tracks here. This track is me talking. This track is the desktop audio. And these are both combined. So what we want is just the track of the desktop audio, AKA of the game. So we'll, how you do that, excuse me, how you do that, uh, you, you press U. Let's just do that again, actually, let's do that again. Oh, I just wanna make sure you guys know. So on audio tracks that you do not want, or in general, because you can move this left and right and every track will stay uh, aligned. To remove a track from the group, you press U on the certain track, the, let the letter U on your keyboard, that detaches the track from the rest. As you can see, the rest move, this doesn't. You can just now delete this, press U on this as well, and delete it. So now we have these two that can just delete this. What I wanted again was the part where we have the gauge, we drain it and it refills. Let's just turn this on auto ripple. Um, once I do alt left bracket, which is how you, uh, this is basically this button. You can read that, it basically makes this part the first part of the, of the track. So when I do Alt left bracket, it will do that. So let's play it out. And then again, once that drains, you're gonna want that sound for later. Now we see where the gauge refills and we're gonna cut that out. For that to be in the rate my chase. Now, you wanna basically keep this or keep it until the non-stop debate ends. This is too much, this is too much fanfare. There's too much stuff in the background there. But uh, let's go to the last frame of this where it's formed and it's glowing, basically that. All right, now, let us press that button I just pressed there, the event pan crop. We wanna do mask. Now, I already have a preset of this, but I'm gonna do it over again. So we'll zoom it into that, click the drop down. I already have a Borat gauge preset right here. Well, this is for the seven star one, the 10 star one. Yes, there's a there's the preset right there, basically. Uh, we're going to do this over. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Again, you're wondering, how do you crop this out? Basically, you use the anchor creation tool. You press that and you want to outline the focus gauge, basically. Uh, basically the tip of this pen right here is where uh, the square will end up. So roughly there, you want, this is a bit too small, you want to, there we go, oh, it's, it's a lot more complicated than it looks. Uh, again, you want to have this at the tippy top right corner because you don't want to cut off any of the stars. I'm saying the word you as if any of you are going to do this specifically, but you might want to do it in some other thing you may be wanting to do within Sony Vegas, which is the reason why I'm doing this. Um, so this is the top left, I believe. I mean, there's a problem. I mean, it, it does cut off a few of the stars here. Let me just take a look at, because uh, with the Nautical and Bebro Chronicles, mm, yeah, it's, it's not as easy as it looks, really. It's tough to really get a good starting point. 
Like, you may have to actually hover above it. That's the problem. Uh, I think I made a perfect square with this, but you want to have it so that you don't cut off any of the stars. You know, it, it doesn't really have to be along the border that the game has it. And basically, though, that's the 10 stars right there. It's not very cut off. You really can't see much of the outside. It's not really that much of a difference, but uh, this is basically the configuration. I mean, uh, if, if for all of Season 4 and in the Cup and Beer at Chronicles, I only used the 7 star Borat gauge, mainly because I didn't really think there were that many chases in which, or episodes in which I would, uh, there would be the gauge getting the 10 stars. But we'll talk about that in a bit. But uh, basically, this is the only, This is basically the way that I outlined it uh, for most of Season 4. At the end of Season 4, I gave it a few more surrounding areas. I uh, kept this triangle right here. I want to make sure you don't press this because it'll combine both and it'll make it look stupid. So you add that, and it adds. It adds what you previously had, and then I want to add this at the bottom. You know, just it just gives the Borat gauge a bit more. Interesting. It gives the Borat gauge a bit more of accent. You know. I don't really know what the word is, but it, you know, it, it makes it look a bit more fuller. Because obviously, uh, you take a look at this. I mean, this is basically what it was for all of season four. I mean, this is the Cop Mirror Chronicles, but you know, it was basically just the trapezoidal thing and nothing on top, nothing on bottom. So it was kind of plain, but you know. No one had like a uh, uh, an example of what it could have been, so it's completely fine in that case. So that's basically what it is. Uh, the gauge itself plus the top two things. I think I also added this, which is just to the left of the gauge as well. Might as well put that in, you know. Give you some Sony Vegas practice. Why not, really? It's a bit weird. You can zoom in as well if you want to fine tune it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. I think that was also in uh, the late season four Borat gauge. So basically, again, we've done it like that. From this. We got that. And that's, that is this, you know. I'm sure it's mind blowing for a lot of dudes out there, you know, that this can turn into this. But, you know, the Danganronpa series has been very influential to Rate My Chase. As odd as it may seem or think, but that is basically the gist of that. Um, I mean, at this point, what I did do is I rendered this. Now, I'll tell you why. It's because if you have this raw video file and you use it to edit, um, now this may be a wrong statement, what I'm saying, but if you have all this background, I mean, there's no background here, but if you have this background here, especially as it moves, because you know this is a this is you know a full video basically, uh, it may lag you while you're doing the audio, but or the, the editing, excuse me, not the audio, the editing. We're gonna keep it like this though. But basically, let's go back to this part, the sound. Now. Traditionally, when you see, when you watch Rate My Chase, and you hear that sound, it uh, signifies the ascension 
of the Vorak Beach. Mm. I actually want to play the sound now. Um, I want to play the music though. But yeah, it, it basically signifies the ascension of the Borag Gage, as you can hear there. But in Dhanamapa V3, it signifies the falling of the Borag Gage. So, the question is how do we use the sound? for the recovery of the, of the focus gauge, or the increasing of the Borat gauge. So, what you want to do is you want to detach the audio track from the video track. Like that. Um, then, what you want to do is you want to cut... Well, first of all, again. Let's just say this is rendered, because I, like I said, I would render this without sound to begin with. I would render this, um, because you don't want to render it, uh, I'm trying to find the place where I want to start here. You do not want to start the render when it is at zero. And if I can explain that correctly, the reason would be is that if the bar if the gauge fills and then you might run out of video file and then it'll go back to zero not really a good explanation really now that doesn't make any sense to, to, to most of you but you might understand as we go on so let's just start from here well, let's cut it because as you can see from here, let's go to the Borat Gate section here. As you can see from here, the start of this uh, file right here is from the zero star state. And this I use and pass it through every season four chase, basically. It's basically the same file that has been there for two years, three years actually, um, since the beginning of season four or close to it. I'd redone it a few times. Well, the 7th star one, not the 10th star one, but uh, either way. So, when, he, when a rate my chase is started, uh, you, you see it in zero star state. Now, you need a few things. Now, okay, first, before I get into anything, uh, as you can see, yes, the bore age is rising. So, what you do... You take this audio file, you cut it to the start, and then when there is Borat happenings, you attach it to when the gauge is going to increase, and then you do that. But let's not get there yet. So, I'm going to show you an example of what happens. But let's just set it up. So there's a thing in Sony Vegas called composite level. What you do is right click on the video track. You go to insert, remove envelope, and you press composite level. Now this basically allows you to change the opacity or the level of how much you can view a certain element on this video track um so as you can see at the start of basically every ray my chase and let's just get the nautical memorable chronicles in here at the start of every rate my chase you see the bar gauge on the screen after a few seconds it disappears now obviously I, this one i used a hard uh a hard fade but you see a fade right there so, the gauge is there, right? I, I, I want to make this a bit more obvious. Uh, so right now it's at 100% opacity. You want to go down, you want to click, or right click this blue line here. You want to set it to hold. And I'll tell you why in a second. So, I'm not going to overlay this with an actual chase. 
um, or I could, I'm not too sure which one I would use, it has to be a smaller video file. I guess bear with me for a second, just to give you the gist of what that's supposed to be. I'm gonna find a, I'm gonna find a, uh, rate my chase here, and I'm gonna drop it into the timeline, so bear with me, I'll probably cut this until I find it. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Uh, it was kind of find the... I, I wanted to find the Season 3 chase, because it wouldn't have the Borat gauge already on the screen, which would make it a bit annoying. Um, so, this won't be a good example, but you'll basically get what I, what I mean by this. So, let's start off. So again, the gauge starts out, it's 100% Opacity. Let's just try to move it to where it usually would be. Well, let's put it into uh, a place where you can see it. This is actually the, the first place where it was at the beginning. But let's just put it in the place where we can see it fully. So you start the chase. Obviously, the gauge is on there. Oh my god. Okay. Before you do that, let's do the first step. You right-click on the actual video file on the timeline you go to insert remove envelope you go to velocity you right click on this green square which you can barely see you press hold you right click on it again you set to zero percent velocity because if i do not set to zero percent it'll just fill at will so set it to zero percent velocity and it just stays static which is what you want. So, usually at the start of the chases, the gauge is on there for a few seconds, but you want it to disappear. I want this to need more seconds there. You want it to disappear because you don't want it on the screen. So, it stays on there for about five seconds. Now you want to get it off of the screen. Now you see this blue line up here, which you can barely see, but you see composite level. You right click on it, you click add, points um actually no you want this at smooth excuse me you want these at smooth fade so you want it to fade out but you don't want to have a hard fade which would be like doing this basically you you, you don't want a hard fade because you want this to basically span the entire uh, chase, at, you know. So let's say you want it to fade out in 0.2 seconds. You put a point here and you put a point at 5.2 seconds. You drag this to zero. So after 0.2 seconds, the bore gauge will not be visible. It fades out. You have to keep watching the chase. And this is what I was talking about before with the previous videos about watching the chase all the way through. Like, when you chase cut, you must watch all the way through. When you censor, you must watch all the way through. When you do your cop radar, you know, finding where cops are and you press the M for the marker, you have to watch all the way through. Now, some you can combine. You can combine uh, the censoring with the um, copyright markers and you can kind of do the same thing with the Borat gauge but you still if you do them all separately you have to watch the video all the way through so like I said now the Borat gauge is off of the screen you're waiting for a moment where there's a Borat instance now, this would not get a Borat Gate Star, but if, if, if they were in a bike and he jumped on top of the building, that would have probably gotten a star, because that's typical bike warrant stuff right there. But just imagine that this is a Borat uh, instance right here. So, basically, when he lands, if you... Well, first of all, if you think it's a Borat instance, let's just say this is this is 
when he lands, you want to gear to have the Borat Gauge reappear and then give it some stars. So what I usually do is I make it fade in. I make it take about 1 .5, uh, 0.15 seconds to fade in. So it's at 0% opacity right now. So you go to the bottom and click add points. Then after 1.5 seconds, you can highlight this by the way with your mouse. You click add points and then drag it to 100% where you know the rise comes in. So of course you see it's come up. Now after another 0.05 seconds is where you want the gauge to increase because obviously you don't want the gauge to increase as it has become 100% opacity. You want to have a small delay, which you can barely see here, really. Uh, then you want the gauge to go up. Let's say it's two stars. Now, what you want to do here is you want to frame it frame by frame. I'm using the right arrow key. You want to frame by frame it until the star on the right has its point. And then you want to stop it. Let's say you want it to be, you know, you, you say, let's say you think it's a two star bore at action, right? And you want to stop it at two stars. You can do one of two things. You can add a point out here, drag it to where it stops, right click it and press zero percent. So basically you've got something like this. It goes up to two stars, it stops. Um, you can add the timer. Um, or, let should do it again here, or you can right click this, basically, the, the video file. You go back to insert remove envelope and you press freeze frame at cursor, which saves you a couple of clicks, maybe. And uh, at the same point, it lowers the velocity to zero percent. Now, after that is where the timer comes in. Now, let's just put in the audio, by the way. Let's put in the audio. Let's take this out because there's no audio in this thing anyway. So, for as long as the gauge is active, you, let's take a make copy of this. You want the sound to be active for the duration of the increase of the gauge. So as I did there, you go to the end, make it perpendicular, if that's the word. Uh, you cut this off with alt right brackets. Then when you play it back, you can hear the sound. Let me lower the quality of this, you can probably see it. Cause it's kind of laggy here. Okay, well, I'll do the same thing. But yeah, basically, you hear the sound up until the two stars go up. Um, now, next, you add the timer. I might make a separate video for the timer because it's, it can be based on something else. Uh, I don't think it suits this video too well. Um, but basically... At the end of the Borat action, like for example, two stars, Evangelist has already gotten off on top of the building. After an arbitrary amount of time, probably a half second, a second, a second and a half, you can add the timer and well, it's at the wrong space, uh, but you can just move that around with track motion. And yeah, so basically there's a timer, goes for 20 seconds, uh, at the end of the 20 seconds you can gear to lower the gauge back to zero if there are no other Borat actions within that 20 seconds. So the timer goes to zero, this is Evangelist doing by the way, <laughs> yeah there you go, and again after an arbitrary an arbitrary amount of seconds after the timer runs out, 
you go back to the velocity, you add a point, and you put it to minus 100%. And then it'll decrease back to zero, and you have to use the right arrow key to go frame by frame. And see, you want to have it drain, but there's a thing here like it's it's drained right now. But you see the discoloration a little bit. Um, what I used to do was have it be solid blue even though there's a little bit down there it's kind of fine but basically once it gets to zero whatever your form of zero is you add a point and just put it back to zero percent so basically the entire sequence borat action you put the opacity 100 percent make this go to two stars after the 20 second timer you put it in reverse, it goes back down to zero. You can let it stay, usually I let it stay for a few seconds, and then I take it off, I fade it out of the screen. So again, you right click with a composite level, it's 100% right now, uh, 0.2 seconds later, out of points, you drag it down to where the thing is. You know, but the line is. Uh, you can't really... Like, for example, when you highlight this, you can't... You know, where the perpendicular lines meet, you cannot add a point here. Well, you see it did. But when you click on it... Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I'm wrong. You can do that, too. <laughs> been doing it wrong the entire time. My, my point was if you... Never mind, I can't see it. Live video, I never prepped for this, I did not prep for this, but um, basically, that's really the gist of its um, Borat gauge, been an important part of my chase since season 4, you know, there are many ways that this can be topsy-turvied, you know, you give, you make the gauge, you activate the gauge, you know, for example, if they're two stars, again, uh, the timer comes in after the rise, right? If something dumb or boring happens again, then right at that moment, you can add another point, put it again to 100%, increase it by whatever stars you want again. But of course, the timer has to reset. So basically what I do is just after the rise, I fade out the timer, hard fade the timer. And after the rise, you just add the timer back. And it does that again. So that's basically what it is. That is basically how you do the Borat gauge. Let me just take a look at uh, the Cop and Burat Chronicles a little bit because the way that I did it was basically the same if it would come up. Um, but there's a clear way to do it. I actually cropped this out in GIMP, it seems. I don't know how I, how I did I actually. Uh, yeah, that's not indicative of the rest though. Um, although this file doesn't exist anymore so you can't really see it. Um, but if we take a look, yes, we do the same thing, basically. Um, it's hard to really see. You can't really see anything here. This is basically uh, the sound of the gauge as it goes up. Uh, the... What is this? It's going up here as well, and here as well. Then it starts to decrease here. I think for, for this chronicle, I put it at minus 80%, so it decreases four-fifths as long. But, it's easier to see here, because in Season 4 it's a bit more uh, clean. Uh, a lot of these were, a lot of these episodes were edited a bit better with more organization. So basically, when you get into the Borag gauge, these four tracks 
are all ways grouped together. The top track is for the timer. Here we have a 20 second timer, this is 30, and 45 is somewhere here as well, yes, 45, yeah, it's 39 right here, yeah. Um, and as you can see here, I guess, I'm trying not to mute this. Yeah. Basically, let's start here actually. As I said, you know, no to call, wanks in the streets. That's a Borat action. Uh, it takes about 0.15 seconds to make it 100% opacity. Then a 0.05 second delay. Then the gauge increases with the sound here. You can't see the, you know, because it's rendered, I guess. But I, I added a nine decibel increase to it because if it wasn't, then it would be I mean, it's still pretty loud. But that all goes into the balancing of sound. So it goes to one star. You see the timer right there. After the 20 seconds, the timer depletes, and it goes to zero, then it fades. And there are more complex cases here. As I said before, you see two stars right there. It holds till she gets in the car or doesn't get in the car. You add two more. And then I wait until she actually gets in the car, because the Borat action is still continuous. Then you start the timer again. And then after the timer is gone, timer fades away, and the gauge goes back to zero. And then it fades away. Uh, special cases right here. I think this is where it got to nine. You see one more in action, it goes to a couple stars. You see a guy... Did he fall off the bike? No. Or did he? No, no. But another board action here. The guy falls off the bike. Okay, first... No, no, let's see. First of all, the timer's at six seconds, right? A guy falls off the bike. A bit more board. The timer does reset. And then so Sredge is gonna shoot at Smash Mouth here. That's Boratty. The timer again disappears. The timer increases. Uh, if you want to know more about the, the the levels of the timer, then just look at the beginning of the Nautical Beverly Chronicles. Honestly, I'm not going to explain it here, but um, timer goes to zero, right? It starts to decrease until they fall off the bridge. Then it starts to go back up. Timer is back, right? Another Borat instance. And the timer goes up. And there it is. Then, after this timer, finally, no more Borat instances. It finally decreases back to zero using reverse velocity. And that's basically what it is. So, again, the top track here is for the timer. The second. This is the rendered gauge with the black background, which is what I was talking about before. This one is for the label, Borat gauge label. Right there, it goes over there. And the fourth is for the sound as the gauge increases. And that basically is the gist of what the Borat gauge is. Uh, again, you look through the entire video, look for Borat instances, because the problem is, is that you can't skim through this, because what if you skim through it, right, you, you skim through it and you miss this, but then you see this, right, you see them doing the stunts and you see Smash Mouth fail, right? But then you watch the video back over and you see, oh, these guys, typical bike one fashion, again, they fall off 
of the freeway. With velocity, it's tough to go back and fix it because the state of the gauge right here is going to be different. And uh, this is a bad explanation, but it's going to be different here if you don't have this already. Like, for example, we saw the gauge increase by two stars here, right? But if we didn't see this, it's at nine now. But if we didn't see this, right, here, the gauge went from, let's just say that's four to seven. So if this, if you never saw this, then here the gauge would be three stars less. It wouldn't be nine, it would be six. So you have to really go in chronological order when you see the Borat instances. Um, because it's not very easy to go back, especially with velocity. Um, so when you go back, when you go and finish this and when you render it, um, and I had issues with crashes, not the mod, but crashing in Sony Vegas when you render this. Uh, but basically when you render this, you know, obviously going forward in Sony Vegas is usually not a problem, you know. It's, it's normal to go forward, you know, it's like when you walk forward. But, you know, as you can see here, you know, when the gauge goes up, there is no lag relatively. You see the FPS is like 27, 25, when you see it being played through. But when the gauge goes in reverse is where it gets to be an issue. Uh, as you can see here, there's 26, 23 FPS. But look at the FPS dip. You can even see there when it goes in reverse. It's kind of like walking backwards. It's not that intuitive to this program or to you, you know? So when you render this, you're gonna notice at the moments where the velocity goes backwards, um, your PC is gonna be a bit louder. The fans will go louder and the render is gonna slow down a bit because it takes more work to render going backwards than it is to go forward obviously you know so that's basically the borat gauge i think i said all that i wanted to say about this it's a very long video to begin with anyway i wanted to go very high in depth oh yes this is a very long video either way that's gonna do it uh, part five is going to be part five is going to be chase grades player grades cop grades and that's gonna do it that was the borat gauge the focus gauge from danganronpa v3 turned into the borat gauge in rate my chase we'll see you next time the next parts